Well, we've arrived at the big day where I will be getting a trim. Uh, but before we do this, uh, there are some questions from the audience that I'd like to answer. So could you please provide the first question? What is your motivation for shaving your head? The motivation for shaving my head is to support the Riverwood House Project, which is transitional recovery housing for addicts. And why is this project so important to you? Riverwood House is going to fill a gap uh, of services for people who are in recovery for addictions. Um, it fills the gap between detox and medical transition and independent living. How long have you worn your hair long? I'm going to guess that I have had long hair for 12 to 15 years. Have you ever had any comments or pressure to change your hair? Oh, yeah. Um, when I was working with the Niverville Heritage Center, I believe that each board member separately came and talked to me about cutting my hair. Uh, I uh, didn't do it at that time, um, but I know that some of them have actually come on board to see this happen today. So that's a cool thing. <laughs> um, have you ever had a funny story or something happen to you with your hair this length? Well, I have been often compared to Jeff Bridges, um, and uh, I've always taken that as a bit of a compliment, but one of the funny stories that I ran into is I was in Memphis at one time, and we were on a tour of Memphis, and uh, the tour leader looked at me and said, oh my goodness, you look like Jeff Bridges. And then everybody turned and looked, and they sort of you know, agreed with that, and, and then he said, are you Jeff Bridges? Because he wasn't sure, and I guess at that time I must have had a really close resemblance. And I, and I said no, and we jumped on the bus, and uh, there was a lady that sat down beside me, and she said, Sir, are you Jeff Bridges? And I just looked at her, and I just went, shh. Do you trust your wife to do a good job? Oh, my goodness. Uh, well, uh, I don't think I have much option, so I guess I have to trust my wife to do this. Then let's go. All right, let's, let's do the deed. Perfect. All right. Well, it's happening. Um, but I would like to thank everybody that supported this little project. Um, my original goal was to raise about 4000 bucks, and I think we will have almost doubled that amount. So that's thanks to everybody watching this, because this clip is only going to be shared with those supporting the project. And... Uh, yeah, so it has started, and uh, we will catch you in a couple of minutes uh, once uh, this first phase is done, and uh, we'll talk soon. You submit? Ooh, my achy, breaky heart. <laughs> well, I'm just hoping it's going to grow back someday. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we might be looking after a diff or going after a different type of look, but uh, let's see what happens. Wow. Hey, are you feeling a little bit country now? <laughs> My achy breaky heart is right, eh? Well, a uh, little more country, a little less rock and roll, that's for sure. This is the carnage thus far. I think I can replace our dog with all that. Well, um, I've already got quite a bit cut off, which has been interesting. Um, and typically, uh, the only the next step would have been just the uh, one eighth uh, buzz cut, and uh, Helga is going to get that right now and do that. But apparently, uh, there's uh, about a thousand bucks riding on the fact that I have to bick my head. So we'll be doing this in stages. So the next stage will be the uh, clippers. Well, we've gone from 2020 Steve to 1985 Steve with the mullet. And uh, now we're probably going to go to 1970, Steve, uh, where he had a buzz cut. I probably should say thank you very much to my lovely wife, Helga, for... Uh, taking on this task, and so just so everybody knows, she's quite supportive of this. 
So as stated, this is the uh, 1970 Steve with the uh, Faux Hawk, uh, more commonly known as the uh, Alberta Clipper. All right, uh, this is the haircut that I used to get as a little guy in the 60s. Uh, the, this would be courtesy of my mother. Um, but I just wanted to add that this is not the first time that I've cut my hair for cause, uh, although this is the first time I've done it with longer hair. So about uh, 30 years ago, uh, I did the same thing for we raised some money for cancer. Um, I should probably add that 1960s and 70s Steve didn't have the beard, but uh, that's going to be the next phase. Well, I would suggest that this is about as short of hair as I've had in well over 50 years. So, um, look at that, eh? So, now we go to the next step. Just listen to this, the scraping, the agony. The rug. <laughs> Apparently my, my scalp and my uh, hair allotment is giving quite the challenge to get right down to the bone there. So we're going to try um, another round of, uh, of creaming it up or shaving, creaming it up a little bit and then bake it again. Well, this is, uh, this is the third round of bicking, and uh, this is about as close as I'm going to be able to become to a chrome dome, uh, with much love and respect to my friends that are chrome domes. Um, and I thought I'd just issue a little bit of a challenge. Uh, anybody else want to support Riverwood House, um, you can do that in honor of what I just did. Or maybe you can also shave your head and get your circle of friends to support it. Uh, Riverwood House is going to be uh, an awesome project. We broke ground on November the 16th. We expect it's going to take about a year to build. And we're going to provide housing for 40 of Winnipeg's most vulnerable who are in recovery from their addictions and are facing housing insecurity. So we are stoked about doing this and uh, very excited about it. And uh, thank you again for everybody that's participated. Next phase will be the beard and the mustache. We're running out of blades now. There you go. We've actually changed blades a few times. And I've got a very, very stubborn scalp. Okay. There we go. Deed is done. Okay, here's one look I could go with. But I prefer the one that I've been using. I'll put this one on and uh, what do you think? I'll tell you, it was like Velcro trying to get it on. It'll never come off. Ah. Okay, phase two. The Santa's beard. All right, this is uh, Steve the biker look. Now that the, the beard is gone, I kind of like this one, but uh, now one half of the mustache has to go. People have paid. Uh, well, half of uh, the stash is gone. Uh, I'm really grateful that there were actually two people that each donated um, $50 to be able to do one half and then the other. So the other half is up coming up next. Are you glad you're working from home? <laughs> yes, uh, this is that actually factored into it a little bit. I don't actually have to go out in public for at least the next couple of months, which is good. And one final little bit of this. Huh? 
we are done. I suppose if I go out into public like this, nobody that's known me will recognize me. No, you look very different. Do I look younger? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks again. We appreciate it. It's been fun. And um, we'll, I was going to say we'll talk to you soon. I'm not sure that's going to happen, but take care. Stay safe.